What's today's date? It's July 5th. When are you going on vacation? I'm leaving on Sunday. We're going to Canada. Really? The day after tomorrow? That's very soon. Yeah, I know. How long are you going to stay there? About two weeks. When are you coming back? I'm coming back on the 17th. All right. Have a nice trip. Anne, what do you want to do tonight? I'd like to go see a movie. I heard Titanic is playing at the movie theater. Oh, I've heard that's a good movie. What time does it start? 6.30. It's a long movie. I heard it lasts for about three hours. Will you come and pick me up? What time? I think we should get there early, because they might be sold out. Is five okay? Yes, that'll be fine. I'll meet you at your house at five. Do you want to get something to eat before the movie? I'm not sure if there will be enough time for that. We can have popcorn and hot dogs at the theater if you want. I don't like the popcorn they have there. I think they put too much salt on it. Okay, then. I'll pick you up a little earlier, and we can go to the Thai restaurant next to the theater. Is that okay? Yes, I like that place. Hey, Todd, how are you? I've been doing well. How are things with you, Mary? Things are good with me also. Mary, I was looking in the paper at the new movies coming out. Do you enjoy movies? Yes, I go all the time. I was hoping that you and I could maybe spend a Friday evening together. I was wondering if you would like to go with me this Friday to see a movie and get a bite to eat afterwards. I would love to go out with you on Friday. Do you have a certain movie that you would like to see? I've heard a lot of things about the movie Australia. You know, I was thinking that that would be a good movie to go see together. Would 7 be a good time to pick you up? 7 o'clock would be perfect. Okay, I'll pick you up at 7 then. What seems to be the problem? Oh my god, it's my stomach, it's killing me! Where does it hurt the most? Right here, it hurts right here. How long has it felt like this? It felt okay when I woke up and then suddenly I had this really sharp pain. Do you have a history of stomach pain? No, and I haven't done anything out of the ordinary. Well, I think that we're going to have to get you into an emergency room right away. Thank you for helping me. Hi, I need to make an appointment to see the doctor. What seems to be the problem? I have a rash that I need a doctor to look at. <sighs> Do you have a fever with that rash? No, it just itches a lot. I have an opening on Tuesday or Wednesday. Which would be best for you? I need an appointment on Tuesday. Fine. I am putting you down for 9 o'clock on that day. Would you like to see Dr. Smith or Dr. Jones? I would like to see Dr. Jones. I can schedule you with him with no problem. We look forward to seeing you. Doctor? Can you give me some suggestions on how to stay healthy? Well, first of all, you need to make sure that you eat the right foods. Where are the best foods to eat? You should emphasize fresh fruits and vegetables, along with whole grains and protein. What should I avoid? You need to avoid highly fatty and greasy foods. You should also avoid too much sugar and caffeine. What else is important to stay healthy? You need to get plenty of exercise every day. If you smoke, you need to stop. Is it okay to drink alcohol? Actually, studies have shown that people who have one half a glass of alcohol per day do better than those who don't drink. Have you met the new girl? No, have you? She's one of the prettiest girls at the school. What does she look like? Well, she's quite short. How tall would you say that she is? I would say she's only five feet. What about her facial features? She has light brown eyes, absolutely beautiful. I think I know who you're talking about. Have you seen her? I think that I have. Did you hear the news? What happened? Our cousin went into labor and had her baby last week. She did? Why didn't anyone tell me? I would have thought that somebody would have told you. No, I had no idea. Well, she did. Her baby was eight pounds, six ounces. Oh my God, that's great. Are you going to go visit her and the baby? I think that I might. Good. I just thought I'd let you know. Thanks for telling me. Did you know there was a robbery? I haven't heard anything about it. Some dude tried to rob our bank. Really? That's crazy. He tried to rob the bank with a gun. What happened? 
Well, most important, no one got injured. That's great. Sadly, he did get away. That's bad news. The police have no idea who this man is. They'll catch him. John, did you see the news today? No. What happened? There was a big earthquake in San Diego. Oh, my goodness. The president was on the news talking about it earlier. Was anyone hurt? I think they said two people were killed. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I can't believe you hadn't heard about it. They were talking about it on CNN all day. Oh, I don't watch TV that often. Don't you watch the news? No, I usually read the news online, but I haven't had time to turn on my computer today. I have lots of friends. Really? How many do you have? I don't know, maybe 100. That is a lot of friends. Do you have a best friend? Of course, I have lots of best friends. How many best friends do you have? I think about 25. Hmm, I have only one best friend. I feel sorry for you. I have only a few friends. You must be lonely. I will share my friends with you. That's very nice of you. I'm going shopping. Do you want to come? I thought you went shopping yesterday. I did, but an old friend called me last night and invited me to his birthday party. I need to buy a gift for him. I see. What are you going to get for him? I really have no idea what he likes. I haven't seen him in a long time. What do you think? Maybe a cake. Well, that's a good idea, but I think I should probably get him something else, like something he can wear. How about a sweater? I saw a really nice one in the mall the other day. Maybe we can go there and take a look. Okay. What store was it in? It was at Macy's. I think they're having a sale this weekend. Oh, that's a really nice store. I like the clothes there. Can you believe that Obama is our new president? I'm so happy about that. Did you vote for him? I sure did. How about you? I voted for him. I have complete confidence in our new president. Is that right? I know he will help change America. I hope so, because America needs a change. I feel like things are already changing because he was elected. I agree with you completely. I'm not worried about our country now that it's in his hands. Did you get your official sample ballot? Yes, with the voter instructions. How are you going to vote? Same as ever, by mail. All it costs me is a 42 cent stamp. I meant, are you going to vote for or against the new taxes? Against all of them, of course. But we need new taxes to pay for highways, schools, and prisons. We've already voted for new taxes to pay for all that stuff. That's true. Where did that money go? Our legislators spent it on first-class travel all over the world. They are having a good time with our money. So when are we going to stop giving them more? Well, we have a new president. But we have the same old problems. Well, he's made a few changes. Like what? I think he closed the bowling alley in the White House. Oh yeah, he's changing it to a basketball court. Who's paying for that? I think we are. Well, that's okay, as long as it helps him relax and think more clearly. Yes, we need a relaxed president who thinks clearly. Do any other world leaders have a basketball court? They will. You know America always leads the way. Have you decided how you are going to vote? Do you mean on measures 1, 2, and 3? Yes, the ones that will improve our schools, roads, and hospitals. You mean the measures that will raise our taxes. But the TV ads say that our taxes will not increase. Do you believe the TV ads? 
I like the one where the fireman tells us why we should vote yes. Don't believe him. Whatever the TV ads tell you, the opposite is true. But the title of Measure 1 is Better Schools at No Cost. The title should be Better Schools at Huge Cost. I can't believe that they would lie to us. Of course they lie. That's what politicians do. I think I might try to eat a little bit better. I changed my diet recently, and I eat a lot healthier now. What do you eat? My diet consists mainly of fruits, veggies, and chicken. That's it? Just about. How is that the only thing that you'll eat? You know that fruits and vegetables are very healthy foods. So what about the chicken? I bake chicken because it's a healthy way to eat it. That sounds delicious and nutritious. You should try it. You won't be disappointed. Have you ever been shopping at Whole Foods? No, I haven't. Is the food good there? They have the freshest foods there. I usually shop at Vaughn's. I used to shop there, but I find the food at Whole Foods to be a lot better. What's the problem with Vaughn's? They don't have a lot of organic foods there. Is there a big selection of organic foods at Whole Foods? They have lots of healthier foods at Whole Foods. I haven't been shopping there, but maybe I'll try it sometime. Whole Foods is way better than Vaughn's. Trust me. I'll take your word for it. Oh, Ashley, your dinner looks delicious. I appreciate the compliment, Joe. What would you prefer with your meal? Wine, mango juice, or water? Mango juice would be a good choice for me. Julie can pour your drink for you. Can I offer you some chicken? Yes, the chicken looks yummy. Would you like some salad to go with your chicken? Yes, I would enjoy having some salad. I have also prepared rice. Are you ready for some rice? Yes, chicken and rice are a favorite of mine. Good. Julie, could you pass this plate to Joe so we can get started? I'm upset with my mom. Why is that? I warned her about her new boyfriend. She didn't listen to me. What happened? I gave her a thousand dollars for her birthday. I told her to spend it on herself. That was very nice of you. I found out that she gave it to her new boyfriend. Why did she do that? He said he would buy her a nice ring. What's wrong with that? He went to Las Vegas. He lost it all gambling. Oh, I hope your mom broke up with him. Hi, Peter. Can I talk to you for a moment? I just heard the cookie factory downtown is going out of business. Where did you hear that? Sarah told me. I'm not sure that's true. I haven't heard anything about it. She said they have already started to lay people off. Doesn't your father work there? Yes, I'm really worried he might get laid off. He just started to work there about three months ago. What do you think I should do? I'd talk to your father. Yeah, but if there was something wrong, I don't think he'd tell me. He doesn't like to upset me, but I really would like to know what's going on. So what are you going to do? Aren't you good friends with the president of that company? Yes, we used to work together at a different company about five years ago. Maybe you could call him and see what's going on. Well, I don't know. I guess I could. It's pretty late now, but I'll call him in the morning. Okay, thanks so much. Hi, Jim. Hi, Karen. You look upset. What's wrong? It's nothing. I'm just a little nervous. Is everything all right? Well, I'm having surgery tomorrow on my finger. What's wrong with your finger? I broke it the other day playing basketball. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, it's been bothering me since that day. Are you afraid of having surgery? Yes, I've never had surgery before. I wouldn't worry. I had to have surgery on my leg last year. Everything went fine. Were you nervous before the surgery? A little. Who's your doctor? Dr. Allen. Oh, I've heard he's really good. I don't think you have anything to worry about. Good. That makes me feel much better. My parents are divorced. So are mine. Why did your parents get divorced? My father found a new girlfriend. That's too bad. My mother was hurt and angry. 
She had good reason. What did she do? She told him to drop his girlfriend. What did your father do? He moved out of our house. I guess he really liked his new girlfriend. Yes, but she left him a year later. I'm going to go try these on in the dressing room. What clothes did you find? I'm just trying on a pair of jeans and a shirt. Well, then go try them on. All right. How do I look? You look great in that shirt. What do you think of these jeans? I don't like how those look. I really don't think they look good. That shirt looks great, though. I guess I'm just going to buy the shirt. That would be wise. I absolutely love what you're wearing today. You do? I just bought this outfit a couple days ago. Seriously, it looks really nice on you. Where did you buy it from? I bought it from the Macy's at the Santa Anita Mall. I really like that outfit. Thanks. I think you look nice today, too. Thank you. I just bought these new shoes earlier today. Those are nice. What are they? These are some Chucks. Those are great. How much were they? I got them for $40. I think I might go and find me my own pair of chucks. You have any ideas as to what you want to do this weekend? I'm going to the movie theater with my friend. What are you going to do? I'm not quite sure yet. How about you see a movie with me and my friend? What movie are you and your friend planning on watching? Not sure. Is there a movie out that catches your eye? No good movies come to mind. Have you decided whether or not you would like to go? No, thanks. Maybe another time. For sure. Another day. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. What about you? I'm absolutely lovely. Thank you. Everything's been good with you? I haven't been better. How about yourself? I started school recently. Where are you going to school? I'm going to PCC. How do you like it so far? I like it so far. My classes are pretty good right now. I wish you luck. Thanks a lot. What kinds of things do you like to do? I've always liked to draw and paint. I didn't know you knew how to draw and paint. I do it every once in a while. How long have you known how to do that? I first learned how to do it in high school. Did you take some sort of art class or something? That was my favorite class. You have got to be talented. Thanks. If only I was talented. You have talent. You just don't know what it is yet. Judy. Your husband has a really nice car. Thanks. It's a lot better than mine, and it's new. Where are you going? We're going to visit my sister in the city. I didn't know your sister lives in the city. When did she move there? About a year ago. She lives in an apartment on 3rd Street, across from the public library. I see. It's almost five now. Don't you think there will be a lot of traffic? Oh, we're not driving. We're going to take the subway. The subway only takes about 20 minutes. Yes, but it can be very crowded around this time. I always feel uncomfortable taking the subway. I take the subway to work every day, so I'm used to it now. Doesn't your mother live in the city? Yes, she's lived there for about 10 years. I remember when she moved there. Apartments were a lot cheaper then. I know what you mean. It's hard to find anything that's reasonable now. Have a good time. Next time you're free, give me a call, and we'll go play poker. See you later. Did you see the news today? I haven't had a chance to see it. You know about the blackout last night, right? The lights were out everywhere. A bunch of people went looting last night. They what? They took full advantage of the lights being out. That's crazy. The news reported that four stores were broken into. Were the looters found? The police don't know who did it. I hope this doesn't happen again. Have you heard about the robbery? What robbery? Some guy attempted to rob our bank earlier today. That's insane. He tried to rob the bank at gunpoint. Is everyone okay? He didn't hurt anyone. I'm glad to hear that. I heard he got away. That's not good. The police don't know who the suspect is. They'll figure it out. May I help you? I want to file a complaint. What's the problem? A man robbed me today. When? I was robbed this morning. What did he take? He took my phone and my wallet. Did you see his face? I saw him perfectly. Could you pick him out of a lineup? I could do that. I am considering going for the new job that was posted yesterday. Are you certain that that is what you want to do? It may not be the best choice for me, but I am considering it. 
Why do you think this would be a good move? I believe that this job would allow me to move up, but might be a little boring for me. Yes, there are always pros and cons to making a career change. Also, the matter of pay is also a consideration. I think the slight pay decrease might be worth it. The benefits are much better. Yes, sometimes giving up a little to move forward is the best choice. I think you should definitely apply for the position. What will I earn per year in this job? You can expect to earn sixty-five thousand dollars per year. Are we covered by a good benefits plan? The job has a menu plan where you are given a fixed amount of money, and you choose what you most need in terms of benefits. Can we take personal days off? You get two weeks paid vacation and an additional ten days of sick leave. What do you offer in terms of a retirement plan? We do not currently offer any retirement plan. Do you reimburse for education that relates to my job? We allow several weeks release time each year for our employees to attend job-related seminars and conferences. Do you have a benefits brochure? Whoa! Who said you got this job? I was wondering if you could help me use the student job center. There are many ways. What kind of job would you like? Hmm. I want to work in a restaurant. Fine. Will you need part-time or full-time work? I want to work part-time. Fine. The two best ways are to use our local listing binders over there, or you can use the computers with the internet job listing sites. See them over there. Yes, I know what to do. Well, in addition, you can schedule an appointment with a job counselor on this list. If you would like to do that, sign here, okay? Yes, I think that would be great. Fine. Well, the job search tools are all here for you to use. Feel free to look around and use what works best for you. Have fun with it. I think I have the worst boss in the world. What makes him so bad? He's rude and he yells a lot. That's hard to take. I never heard him say please or thank you. He sounds like a real jerk. No one at work likes him. Can't you report him to his supervisor? Of course not. If I do that, I'll lose my job. Yes, they don't like troublemakers or complainers. I can't quit because I'm making a good salary. You shouldn't choose money over happiness. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Josh. It's been a long time. Where are you working now? I work at a software company downtown. I'm an engineer. That's interesting. What kind of software do you write? It's a database for small businesses. Does your company have a website? Yes. What's the website address? www.sun.com. How can I get the software? You can download it from the website. It's very popular and it's free. Okay, I'll do that. I have to go now. It was really nice seeing you again. It was nice seeing you too. Email me next week and we'll get together for coffee. My computer is broken, so I can't send you email right now. Can I call you? Sure. My number is two three three two eight eight two three two eight. Craig, what do you do for work? I'm still a student. What school do you go to? Boston University. That's a good school. What do you study? I'm studying English, math, and history. My major is English. How long have you been studying English? More than six years. That's a long time. Yeah, I started to learn English when I was in high school. No wonder your English is so good. Actually, it's not that good. I can read, but I can't speak very well. I haven't had a lot of chance to practice. I see. Talking with other people is very important. Yes, but I still don't have many friends here yet. I'm having a party tonight at my apartment. You should come. Oh, thanks for inviting me. I'd love to come. Do your students ever talk about their jobs? Yes, and they ask me what jobs are the best. I tell my students to become a teacher. Teaching is a great job. It's the best job I've ever had. What makes it so good? For me, it's the students. What do you mean? I mean, I have wonderful students. That must be nice. Teaching is the best part of my whole day. You're a lucky man to have a job you love. Hi, I have a reservation under the name of Sandals. 
Could I see your ID, please, sir? Of course. Let me take it out of my wallet. Thank you, sir. Now, do you have a credit card, sir? Yes, of course. Is American Express okay? I'm sorry, sir. Only Visa or Mastercard. In that case, here's my Visa. Thank you. Your room number is five o seven, queen bed, non-smoking. Is that agreeable to you, sir? Yes, I'm easy to please. Very good. Here's your room key, sir. If you need anything at all, please dial zero. Can you get me a taxi? We offer various types of transportation. Perhaps you'd like to upgrade to a private vehicle.、Mm, thanks, but no thanks. A taxi will do just fine. In that case, how about a limo? Then you can travel in style.、Mm, no, I hate limousines. They're gas guzzlers. Got it, sir. Where would you like the taxi to take you? My destination is Rockefeller Center. What time do you want to leave the hotel? As soon as possible. I'll call a taxi immediately, sir. Okay, I'm coming downstairs now. A brand new taxi is pulling up now. Can I reserve a hotel room? I assure you, that's not a problem. What is your full name, please? My name's John Sandals. It's a pleasure to assist you. Please tell me when you'll be needing the room, sir. If my plans don't change, I'll need a room April fourteenth till April seventeenth. Sir, our room prices are slightly higher than you may have thought. Will that be okay? Tell me how much it will be, and I can tell you if it's okay. Only three hundred eight dollars per night, before taxes, of course. Three hundred and eight dollars a night? That's a fair price. Now, as for the room, sir, do you prefer smoking or non-smoking? Non-smoking, please. Non-smoking. Now, sir, does a single queen-size bed meet your approval? I have absolutely no problem with that. Queen, non-smoking. Okay, sir, your room is reserved. Now, if you'll just give me your phone number. Not a problem. The number is six two six five 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 one seven three nine. Thank you for making a reservation with us. We look forward to seeing you in April. Hey, how's it going? Good. How about you? Not bad. Thanks for asking. Have you been on the bus for a while? Only about fifteen minutes. Do you ride this bus often? Not really. I usually drive. You have a car? Yes, I do. So why aren't you driving it? Once our president lowers gas prices, I'll be driving again. Vroom vroom. That's smart thinking. I need to get on another bus, but I have no more money. Where'd the rest of your money for the bus go? I spent it on a bag of chips. Well, that was an intelligent thing to do. You don't have any spare change? No, I don't. How am I going to get home? You should just ask the bus driver for a transfer. How much does that cost? It's free. Just go ask for one. Thanks for letting me know. No problem. Just go ask. What bus can I catch to get to the Gold Line? <laughs> Tell me where you live. I live in Altadena. You can catch the two sixty four. It goes to the Gold Line. Yes, it does. What street do I go to catch it? You can catch it on Altadena Drive. I had no idea that bus went to the station. Yes, it does. I'm glad you told me. You're welcome. Out of every movie that you've seen. Which one is your favorite? I'm going to have to say that Superbad is the best movie ever. You think so? How come? Well, Superbad is super funny. You're not lying. I found that movie absolutely hilarious. I didn't know that you saw Superbad before. I made sure to be in line to see it the first day it came out. I couldn't keep from laughing throughout the whole movie. I was laughing hysterically the whole time. My stomach muscles hurt afterwards. That's exactly how I felt. I got the movie when it came out on DVD. Do you want to come over? I would love to. Laura, what are you going to do today? I'm going shopping. What time are you leaving? I'm going to leave around four o'clock. Will you buy a ham sandwich for me at the store? Okay. Do you have enough money? I'm not sure. How much do you have? Twenty-five dollars. Do you think that's enough? That's not very much. I think it's okay. I also have two credit cards. Let me give you another ten dollars. Thanks. See you later. Bye. Justin, have you found a girlfriend yet? No, not yet. 
What about Jenny? She has a boyfriend. Oh, I thought they broke up. No, they're still together. How about that girl from work you were telling me about last year? Who, Emily? She's married now. She got married last month. I see. It seems like everyone our age is married. Yeah, it's not easy. Is there anyone you're interested in? There is one girl I like who lives in my building. I talk to her a lot because she's also studying English. What's she like? She's really nice. She moved here from Texas about three months ago. What does she do? She's an accountant. That's a good job. She must be really smart. Have you asked her out yet? Actually, we're going to dinner on Friday. Good luck. Would you like to go on a blind date? You must be joking. No, I'm serious. I don't want to date a blind woman. <laughs> a blind date doesn't mean that she is blind. What does it mean? A blind date is a date with someone you don't know. Why would I date someone I don't even know? To try something new and exciting. What if I don't like her? Then you don't date her again. Betty, are you and John still dating? Yeah, things are going really well. Where did you meet him? We were sitting at the same table, and he asked to borrow my pen. Wow, that's a nice story. I was telling Jim about it the other day. He thought it was pretty romantic. Do you two have plans for tonight? Yes, I think we're going to rent a movie. Have you seen anything good lately? I saw Spider Man the other day. I've heard that's a really funny movie. Are you kidding? That movie's not funny. It's sad. I was crying at the end. You're really sensitive, aren't you? I guess so. Maybe that's why I can't find a girlfriend. Hi, Liz. Are you working on your web page now? No, I'm still waiting for you to send me that image file for the home page. You mean you didn't get it? I sent it to you over an hour ago. Let me check. It's going to take a second because I have to start up my computer. Okay. Did you get it? One second. I just have to open my web browser and check my Hotmail account. Okay. Okay, here it is. I got it. How do I find the web page? I tried to search for it on Yahoo, but I couldn't find it. Don't use Yahoo. Use Google. I tried that also, and it didn't work. If you go to Google and search for my name, you should be able to find it. Okay, let me try that. I see it now.